Lubaba TV. Stunting in pigs has been a common problem to many pig farmers in many areas, especially in Africa. And this is because most of the farmers, they don't have enough knowledge and they don't have techniques on how they can feed their pigs in order to have the proper health and to grow rapidly and faster. Here in Tanzania, I have got a lot of calls, a lot of messages and a lot of emails. Farmers ask me on how they can help they are stunting pigs to be health again and to be fat again. But also people have been asking me on what they can do in order to help to, to stop that problem. So in today's video, I want to show you and I want to give you the techniques that will help you to stop this problem. Even if your pig is stunt, this video will help your pig to be health again. So. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell, but also inform your fellow in order to get this knowledge if he is a pig farmer or is a new pig farmer who wants to start a pig farming project. First thing you should do, you should feed your pig properly. In feeding a pig properly, you should consider the following things in order to maintain, to maintain the propriety. In feeding your pig properly, you should feed your pig food that is lower in fiber. Since the fiber takes more energy to be digested, the pig will end up expanding more calories when eating fiber that it would be in eating a less fiber for food. So, in other words, a high fiber diet will reduce the amount of calories that pig absorb and turn into its fat. So, avoid your pig like wheat mines and distress dried grains. You should avoid that. So, you, may, you should make sure you feed your pig with the low fiber feed content. Another thing in feeding your pig properly, you should also give your feed with high fat content. Uh, in pig feeds, fats come from varieties of different different types of food such as vegetable oils, bread and blended animals, vegetable fats and different sources of fats. So you should make sure the, your, your pig has high fat in their feed. But you should also know that pig feed has a little impact to the weight gains so it, that it remakes. So feed your pig whatever high fat feed that is finds more palatable but also more affordable you should use it in order to make your feed i mean your feed to be more fat contented and another thing also you should select the protein sources there are different types of protein sources in pig meal such as soya beans or, or, or in in any kind of the protein sources that you can you can use there are maize Corn, there are a lot of stuff that you can use to make to, 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 to be the source of protein. But what you should consider, you should give your pig a mix of many types of protein. See what the pig likes best and feed it primarily that type of protein. For example, when your your pig likes most the corn, then feed it with corn. Maybe if we like soya beans, then feed it with soya beans. So combine soya beans meal like with the corn diet will provide you also a big with well balanced amino acid flavor. So you should also find the formulas which are more balanced and which has a lot of protein content. But also you should choose a grain for your pig. Whatever you choose, 50% of your feed should be yellow corn. It will be more better to in order to bring a lot of proteins. But also the remember of your pig feed should be mix of barley, wheat and soya gram or depending on what type of ingredients are found easily in your area. Feed your pig various grains and see which kind it's like best. But use the pig's favorite grains in abundance in order to increase its weight because when you use the one which it like, like most, it will, it will use it, it most. But also, you should consider increase the amount of food in your pig. 
Weight gain is occur as a result of ingestion of excess calories. So if a pig is not eating enough food, it will lose weight. If a pig in eat over and above the calorie, will need to be maintaining its current weighted. So make sure you give the enough food to your pig. But also another thing you should add supplements diets. You can choose to add fat or protein in order to help your pig back on pounds but also fat and protein supplements sometimes labeled as energy supplements are available in many varieties with fat and protein content ranging from 30 to 17 so you should add some different supplements in order to make your pig like the food that it eats but another thing also you should make the food more appearing or more palatable you the source of the Usually the ingredients which are more palatable but also which have a good quality, I think it will make and, and it will help a lot in increasing the palatability of your food so as to make your, your pig like the food that you provide to it. But also another thing which you have to do in order to retain or to fatten the standing pig, you should also adjust your environment. In adjusting the environment, you should ensure your pig has enough space. If a pig fa facilities are in their great adequate for its uh, needs, its appetite will decrease due to the stress also. So, pig should have should have enough space, approximately 20 to 50 square feet. It's enough for one pig. So, and at least one 100 square also to be enough for even for the pasture. If your person is is I mean is growing it in a free range so make sure the pig has enough environment in order to make it well and good in growing but also ensure a pig can assess its food very easy make the make sure where you put your food a pig cannot have difficulties in assessing it because when he, it has a difficulty it I mean it will be difficult for it to find the food and it will live so make sure the food area it's more accessible to make it easy to eat and assess the food but also in another thing that will help you is to keep your pig healthy in order to get another another profit or to get enough weight for example you should monitor a pig healthy should check your pig temperature with a leak thermometer you should see your pig if it has a fever you should look for signs or pig if it has any problems that will be good but also deworming a pig regular deworming according to the deworming that you use sometimes approximately to three months or whatever where you are instructed so deworming also will help in retaining the health and the weight of the pig but also, also check for the injuries. If your pig has the injuries, you should also bring your pig to the vet before introducing him or her to the place for pigs. But also make sure you, your pig is in a safe place that it cannot get any injuries. So I think that is very important. That is very important. And when you do that, I think in a few months or in a few days, then the health of your pig will be retained. And I think your pig would be good in health again and in weight. That is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you for listening. This is Mandu Baba and this is Baba TV. Consider subscribing and hit the bell if you're new. But also inform your fellow to order in order to get this kind of knowledge. Till next time and thank you for listening.